Welcome back to another video. Um, for this video, I'm going to tackle a question a lot of people have been asking me is that uh, since you have a couple of Teslas at home and one charger, is that enough? Can you manage charging a couple of Teslas at home uh, with just one wall charger? So the answer is yes, you can, but you're going to have to be a bit organized and planning your charging habits. Now is this charger, the normal wall charger, enough for three electric cars at the house? Answer is yes and no. So the key to managing multiple Teslas, or at least more than one at home, is to know how much do you consume per day. Or, or on an average, how much do you consume every day going to work, going out, and coming back home? Um, how's your charging habits? Um, do you need to charge every day to 80%, 100%? So all these questions, um, you would know better. So, for example, for me, with the Model S as a daily, I consume at least now in the summer, since it's very hot and we're blasting the AC, um, I, I at least consume 30%. So this is going to work on coming back using preconditioning 10 minutes, if not 15 minutes before coming into the car because it can, it can be really hot. I'll show you like a screenshot somewhere on the screen of how hot the inside of the cabin can be. It can reach up to 70 degrees Celsius. So you're going to have to turn it on 10 to 15 minutes before getting in the car. So that does consume a lot of battery. Same thing for any electric car. So yeah, coming back to the point of how do you manage it? is by learning how much each person in the house consumes, how much battery they consume. So everyone, at least I know for sure, consumes 30% battery. So more or less 30%, Model 3, probably even above 40 to 50% because owner for this one within the family, <laughs> he drives a lot. Uh, same thing for the Model X is about 30 to 40%. How long does it take to charge 10% with having the wall charger at home? So as having an electric car for a long time, I, based on my calculation, and I'll show you probably on the screen, the charging um, speed and how long does it take to charge from whatever percent is on the screen to 80%. I set mine to 80%, unless I'm going for a long journey, then I'll go 80, 90, even 100. So from what I've seen, it takes about one hour to charge about 10% more or less so maybe about an hour you'd get 10 percent mm, roughly maybe a bit more maybe a bit less but from what i understood more or less 10 percent takes one hour so if you consume every day 30 percent so you're going to need to charge three hours to get 30 percent back 30 percent 30 percent so you can add up so three hours another three hours six hours another three hours it's going to be nine hours so yeah so that's the thing but um for us for and like you know within the family and our experience not everyone is coming back at the same time sometimes we do sometimes we don't but um so whoever comes back home first obviously gets to immediately charge and charge to whatever percent they need um so you get to rotate throughout the day um, but same time, not everyone needs to charge immediately. Maybe you have a next day off or if you consume 30% and then you're going to drive the next day and you don't need to charge, maybe the remaining battery percentage you have or at or whatever remaining is, is enough for you to go back to work and come back. So it all depends on your lifestyle, how much you drive in a day. Do you need to charge every single day? Yes or no. So based on those questions, you'll get an understanding of whether one wall charger is enough to have a home for more than one Tesla. And with my experience, we were able to manage it quite well. Um, not everyone needed to charge back to their charge, charging limit they set. So I can, if, if, I leave, if I leave today with 80%, I know that if I'm going to consume 30% in a day, I can last probably another three days without charging. But I personally do not want to do that. It's summer and with my work, I sometimes drive a lot. So I would 
you know, just have a peace of mind. I charge to 80% every day. So does everyone else. But, you know, we still were able to manage it without having any stress or <laughs> having range anxiety. But yeah, another way you could organize charging if everyone is going and coming back at the same time, especially another another good example is I know reading on Tesla's the Tesla Dubai's Facebook page, there's a lot of people the a lot of people that do a long journeys. For example, they go to Dubai from Dubai to Abu Dhabi and come back. And that definitely does consume a lot of battery. At least at least 50%. With the Model 3, Model S, I consume about 50% going or coming, if not more. 60. Um, it, it, then again, it depends on the weather and everything like that. So let's say worst case is you leave every day to work to Abu Dhabi and come back. And you come back home with having 20%. So you're going to have to spend a lot of hours charging that car. And if two people in the household does long journeys every day it's it's going to be a bit of a it won't be harder just have to plan things much better so maybe on the way back you're going to have to stop in one of those tesla superchargers and one one fast charger on the way back to at least get maybe 50 percent of remaining charge back home so you just from 50 to 80 to 100 percent so at least you've you've charged on your way back so you don't have to spend a lot of hours at home charging again so it, it, it all comes down to how well you manage how much you consume in a day does that make sense to have two teslas at home with one charger um, that just comes down to you so i just explained my experience with having three teslas at home um, so yeah i hope that experience gets gives you an idea how things work with having an electric car at home. Um, yeah, well, I hope this was an insightful video. I got a lot of questions whenever my friends come by, they're like, how do you charge with just one? And that's, that's just basically a quick, brief, straight to the point answer for everyone watching right now. So yeah, take care and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.